Hello Infernoble friends, in this uh, video we are going to analyze how to beat impermanence. So this is going to be a series of um, three or four videos, I uh, haven't decided yet, because we have some cards like this that are not regular hand drops. Um, the other ones are Nibiru, Token Collector and Shifter. Uh, I don't know if I should make a video about Shifter because he he pretty much means we cannot full combo. <laughs> I mean, we can do some cute things around the card, but and I don't know. I, I think it's worth an entire video. But this it is, because this is a hand drop that is not a monster. Uh, the opponent could use it in an, an optimal moment, and we can, we can work around this. So I have a couple of theories, uh, concepts, and even some combo combo lines. More more so like a combo guide, because this this is uh, it entirely depends on the opponent's hand. So when we have to face these hand drops, um, there is a really important uh, issue. We are only we are only gonna play through impermanence in two ways. One, we cross out the card. So it doesn't doesn't matter, doesn't affect us. Or two, we dolphin uh we resolve dolphin and see an impermanence in the opponent's hand. I mean or three they shotgunning and, and at a at a bad timing. But ignoring that <laughs> um and ignoring cross out, my theory is that every time that we are going to beat impermanence, we are getting high knowledge. Therefore, we have to combo um knowing what to what do we want to do against our opponent do we want to try to use dolphin a lot of times or maybe this is not worth because they only have spells does they have uh, more cards like this like i don't know widow anchor uh chalice book of moon or or not uh so it depends it depends a lot okay maybe the does they have like three more hand drops so we should just pass and leave is all on board so yeah there is not one straight answer because we are always getting hand knowledge of dolphin so we are always uh adapting the idea the combo so i'm just gonna show you concepts okay so first concept um the minimum requirement is going to be renault connector so technically there is a two card combo and these these two specifically these two that uh full combo to imper i mean kind of full combo so the idea is that we are going to loop our opponent's hand um one two three times and then we are going to end on a lot of follow-up so we can otk next turn and charles um and herat against this so yeah it's i mean it's not the strongest combo but you know what is better than um better than this interaction effect Chain imper, pass, you know? So anyway, uh, this is the basic idea. We we don't need exactly these two, but we need a board state, a game state that I'm going to to clarify it. Anyway, so let's pretend we have this and let me find my ashes. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so this is the basic combo. Two card and three blanks. We would against an impermanence, okay? We would normal summon connector, summon dolphin, use dolphin effect, discard blank, see the hand, rip one, see the imperm, see that they are holding the imperm. So if they didn't change imper to connector, um, yeah, they probably know <laughs> what they are doing. Anyway, we would go for Isolt. Isolt first effect. Because we know that they are not going to imperm. I mean, even if they do, and we don't have anything else, you know? We only have Renal, so we might as well try to get uh, more the as high as value as possible. So then we would mill two. Uh, we will mill these two specifically. This could be DDR, uh, but this has to be DDR or Fossil. Uh, to summon Gemba. Yeah. Let me put the engine requirements yeah, here. So what's the idea now? The idea is that um, we summon Renault, we get back the fossil, we uh, use the fossil on connector or DDR, you know, I mean, 
if we have DDR, we would summon instantly Dolphin. There is no, no reason to go for connector. And then we use connector effect, manages cost, it works, trust me, ask the judge if you don't believe me. This negates uh, similar to a skill ring, so when he triggers for cost, this goes to graveyard and this is no longer negating connector. We summon Dolphin. At this point, we don't have any worry in graveyard, so if we want to resolve Dolphin again, we are pitching either this or another blank. So let's say another blank. Yeah. So we rip two at this point. Now three, one. I mean, this is the concept, this is the idea. Okay, if you didn't open connector, but you open red, red layer Dolphin, it would have been the same. If you didn't open Renault, but you opened uh, Oliver DDR, it would have been the same. So the idea is, this, this is the concept. We get to Dolphin here, uh, that we revive of connector or of an extender, or maybe we didn't open any of these, so we have to isolate mill tree to summon this. <coughs> And then we need to access two tuners. One has to be level one specifically. So this plus Renault or maybe an Oliver could make um, Herald. That's the, the, the idea, the concept. And then any other tuner could be this, could be Oliver, could be a hand wrap. And this, they make Halki. Um, then this could also be like a Flint and a normal Summon Ash to make a Herald. So there are a lot of ways, but this is the concept, okay? Just when you open your starting five, Sometimes this is going to be a five card combo if you didn't open good cards. But the idea is that you know how to achieve this. So you would get a uh, Herald and then Halki. Okay? There's also the argument to do it with with Fleur. If you open like Girfried, so then this make Fleur and this make Halki, something like that. But this is the concept, okay? So I'm just gonna continue. Uh, when we summon hell hell early, we have to change the entire the entire combo. Then we use this to go into Halki, summon zero zero one, go into Aurora At at any of this point, if the opponent uh, use Imperm, like let's say now or before now, the combo is gonna change and it's going to be probably much better for us. Because if they use Imperm now, we just cause the negate, and now we have all the spaces so we can do a higher ceiling combo. How if we don't have um, this little guy, Herald? Uh, it's not that hard. We have to um, go for a variation. The standard combo involves having this in the extra monster zone. So the variation is going to be putting this in the main monster zone. And then using one of the two uh, power to lads to summon back Oliver or Gemba. Then use Oliver, Gemba, I mean, any of those and token to summon Riser or Roland in the extra monster zone, then pop this and Balmuk and and put put all the family in the main monster zone and and go from there. Because if we go the standard route, we're gonna end on Charles family and then we we don't have any synchro four to make Herald because Herald is in graveyard. But if the opponent uh, know what he's doing, he's gonna hold Imperm probably until until his turn. So we have one less space to work out with. Uh, doesn't matter too much. We just go for the standard power tool, get an extender. Uh, in this case, should we get uh, Durendal or DDR? I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. Um, maybe it's better to get Durendal. No, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, because we are then, yeah, yeah. Let's say Durenda. We tribute to summon Coldwin to summon back the family. At this point, if if they didn't use impermanence, keep this in your mind because this could come uh, this could come up. We uh we are not longer threatened by this card. I mean this is not longer a high impact hand drop in, at this point. Uh yeah, this is no longer a, a moment where we have a choke point for this. Anyway. We would just equip Durendal in this case, summon Balmon and trigger Durendal's second effect. That would revive the Gemba. And you know, these three means Roland Charles. I think that's pretty common. You should know that already. Roland effect, and this and Colwyn go into Charles. So, 
if the yeah if this was was not imperm but it was let's say nibiru there is an argument to keep this because at the end of the main phase we will have to cause this to tribute and then we pop valmo to revive dolphin but anyway that's for another video against imperm however our best bet would be to revive dolphin how we use roland effect equip valmo charles trigger pop pop valmo Revive Dolphin and Vanish and Vanish. We always want to vanish Balmon because in the if they like break the board, um, Dark is a pretty popular card and yeah we don't have Darks in graveyard unless we go for Unicorn or him. So I always have uh, put him in the Vanish pile, please. Yeah, we got Blade. We used. Dolphin effect to pitch, so so far we are ripping three cards of the opponent's hand, okay? Three cards. Uh, yeah, and then we just pass. So we would end on this and this. And now, impermanence most likely is going to be, tra be trading with this. Unless the opponent... Uh, I mean, depends on us, because we have hand knowledge, we have two choices. We could equip Oliver. Oh yeah, and get the follow-up, get the Renault in hand. So we have a good follow-up, so we could OTK next turn. But if we equip Oliver, uh, the opponent 100% is going to trade Imperm with this. If we want to hold this, maybe we are against Flanderies and we know this is not useful. I mean, why not just... We might as well equip all here and hope that they use Imperm here. Uh, so in that case, we would just let it go. So we would have the Omni negate life. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the concept. At this point, we are facing uh, against two cards with a Charles Pop. Because we rip three and Imperm is trading with this, most likely. That's the, like, the basic concept. Uh, remember, you don't need two card combo. This could be a, a three, four, five card combo. <laughs> uh, now, there is a variation in this combo. Because... If we didn't open Dolphin, we are summoning the Fisol, summoning this. And if we do, sometimes, I mean, most of the time, we are not going to have Gemba. Because the only way to get Gemba is hard draw this or all gear mill this. So if we just have to summon Dolphin and we don't have Gemba, that's a pretty popular three card combo about um, involving all gear Renault and let's say a Flint or a Red Layer. With this trigger combo, the idea is that you meet Oliver, you recover, you use these two to go for result, you summon dolphins, so you have these two on board, uh, which makes you get hand knowledge, hand rip, herald, and then summon the Oliver, and then the Oliver and Isolde into Hulking. At this point, if you don't have a level two tuner um, to re revive at the end, the your next best uh, plan is going to be having like, uh, let me show you, having like this board state, um, yeah, yeah, something like that, with one equipping hand, let's say it's going to be a DDR. So here, uh, what you could do is just use this for the second power tool and try to get DDR again. Or maybe, maybe yeah, yeah, try to get DDR. Or Durendal if you didn't, uh, if you didn't use an Oliver effect. But let's say DDR, okay? Let's say you hit double DDR. So at this point, you have this. And because you have Oliver in graveyard, I mean, in this three card combo that i just talked to you about you could ddr this to make omega and then omega again so you end on double omega you probably would hit this and uh, you also use dolphin how many times twice yeah yeah so two omegas and two dolphins so the opponent is going to have two cards one may have one may maybe this or maybe not and then you still have this as follow-up uh, which you know what if this survives this is a pretty good follow-up it's like having a durendal so yeah it's not the yeah it's not the best but hey again it's better than 
someone in this, pass, pass. Now, the other concept that I wanted to discuss, uh, there are two more concepts. So one, I think this is like the most impactful, uh, the most important. And so far, I haven't, I haven't see, uh, find an optimal route to this. So all I know is a three card combo that most likely is gonna do it, but not always. So this is like the three card combo. Um, connect to Renault and an extender. Could be DDR, could be Fossil, could be Red Layer, not Oliver. Again, this is still evolving. Uh, if you find a better way to do it, please, I'm all ears. The idea is that you start the same, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna go fast. You pitch a blank, you see the impermanence. Uh, you summon the extender, of course. And then you make it sold to get the follow up. Now, here we would have to mill four and summon Oliver. Why not Gamba? Because if we see that the opponent is on Imperm and we have this, like a Renaud in hand, or you know, Heritage or Drendal, um, this is a, a better a better end board. How? So we will get Renaud to get us a Fossil. It has to be Fossil, okay? In this combo, we need to have this at the end. So if we hard draw this, fine. If not, this is a pretty crucial interaction. Get Fossil. Why? You will see later. So at this point, uh, we trade Connector for Dolphin because of the effect. We banish to, we, to get Blade. So in the first uh, concept that I show you, we needed to discard two, um, two blanks. Uh, or get rid of the soul follow up. In this case, we don't have to. We can use uh, Phoenix Blade here. So yeah, in both scenarios, we are keeping just one blank. Okay, be aware of that. So now, um, what are we doing with Oliver? Well, right now, nothing. We do the standard. What's the standard here? Herald. And then. Halki and Auro, at this point, doesn't doesn't make too much sense why are we avoiding Gemba. If I just show you that level 2 tuner is really important, because this is another, another combo, okay? So we summon this, the token, the 001. Um, yeah. We use this to make one power tool. Now here, we have to get DDR, okay? I mean, we, I, I know we have 66% because only two DDRs in the deck, but so far this is the concept. Uh, then I will discuss with you uh, the difference, I mean, how to adapt the combo. I'm looking for ways to, to use Durandal here, Durandal second effect, but so far I haven't figured it out. And then we use Auroradon, Tribute 2, Summon Coldwing, Summon back tokens and this. Now here is where it changed. Remember that I told you that impermanence is no longer high impact if we already resolve Coldwing and we are not going to resolve it again. Again, this is why. Because we could get rid of Herald here. And why, why? Uh, l let me show you my theory. My usual theory when I freestyle with Infernoble is that any tuner access could be turned into an interruption because of, of we uh, looping tokens constantly. So right now we have one interruption and we have the potential to get one, two, three more. So we could end on four interruptions. You follow me there? Because they have Imperm, they are going to trade one for one. So we are gonna have three interruptions against the opponent. So what are we doing? What, what we are doing right now uh, is considering that we should end on three interruptions through Imperm. Okay, so we get rid of this to get Roland. Why? Because now we could DTR Oliver. So yeah, we just managed to summon this with DTR. Then DTR um, allow us to make a Synchro 10. You see, 4, 3, 3. So we can end up Fleur. 
on. Well, why is it important? You will see. Because now, 5 and 4, uh, they're going to make Charles. And then we can leave in fossil the almighty Herald. Yeah, just, just all right. Uh, if you are afraid of lightning storm, you could put everything in, in defense because you have had knowledge, remember? So the idea now is that we have Oliver access. So Oliver was important for two reasons. First, to get us a floor with tokens and this, because this is the only level for tuner that we can access. And then, because he is going to equip to floor. This is one of the reasons where floor shines and is much better than Savage. So now he's immune to Imperm. He's immune to Imperm because of Fossil. He's immune to everything, to Dark Ruler, Droplet, etc. And in the end phase, let's let's guess what's gonna happen. We are gonna meet Oliver. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Mill Durendal and Renat. Equip Durendal and Oliver. So this is the end word, okay? Uh, let me put it one more. Cool. Yeah, this. So we have both warriors with Oliver and this with Fossil, which means this is dead. Uh, mm, with the Wanker is dead, Book of Moon is dead, uh, another Imperm is dead, uh, Chalice is dead, and a lot of similar effects. King Long is dead. Yeah, you get the point. So, yep. This is why people usually play Metal Silver Armor, which, don't get me wrong, the card get us to a higher ceiling, I know. That and this means no targeting whatsoever, but it's bricky. Um, we are not playing Metal Silver in this in this build. We shouldn't, <laughs> because we already run bricks that we don't want to draw. But this, this is a way to replace Metal Silver. And it works really smooth, really nice. So now we have three interruptions, pretty much like I showed you before, but this is like the best interruption that we want to put. Pop and two Omni Negates and a lot of follow-up through this and this. So yeah, that, that's the concept. Now, I told I showed you that this is a trigger combo that requires luck, okay? But if you, if you do this on a four card combo or five card combo, it's going to be more, uh, more secure. Because remember that this concept, now I'm gonna go back, remember that I, I wanna teach you concept, not uh, not me memorize combo that you gotta st follow step by step. So I'm gonna show you the concept. Here, the concept is that we gotta access Dolphin, Oliver, and Fossil. Yeah, we need Fossil in hand, and because it's a one-off, most likely we need Renault re grabbing this back, okay? So in this combo re uh, revolves around having Renault. Uh, we may mill three for all to summon Dolphin. I have maybe this is this as the tuner extender. So I think this could also work. Like like having these two in hand. Because we could like summon Oliver pitching, you know, blade. Summon this, getting fossil. And then we would have um yeah the Herald and the Halki. The HH. So um I I I should I, I really want to be able to use Durendal because Durendal lock us into warriors and then Fleur is a warrior. But the thing is we don't have a space because we will need to summon Herald early. Uh yeah, if we save this and resolve Durendal's second effect, then this is uh this can can no longer revive Herald. Just keep that in mind. And yeah, this is the concept to make Herald having this in circulation, and that means Graveyard or Vanish, and getting this to hand. It's because uh, the power tool is getting us the other extender that we need. Uh, so at the end, yeah, this is like the concept. Now the third concept revolves around power tool. The power tool has a really cool application because to, to beat Imperm, we need a double tuner, okay? So sometimes we only have one tuner, now, I'm not sure uh, what hand uh, should I create to show you this combo because this is just just a concept, okay? I, I, I already, uh, I have done this a few times, but yeah, it's a concept, so. The idea is that you only have one tuner extender 
So let's say that uh, we always need to resolve aqua dolphin. Remember that. So let's say that we uh, we used I don't know um, connector connector with layer. Yeah, I honestly don't know where to begin. Um, but the idea is that we get to salt, okay? Having this in hand, uh, we get to dolphin. It could be mill tree, or, or it could be that we summon the connector plus anything else. So we could keep this on board. Uh, we see the hand. We look. We look them one or twice. Uh, let's say that we use these two, okay? Which means we think normal. Which means we can normal Oliver. Which means we can get to power tool. What do I mean by this? <clears throat> I mean that let's say uh, I need north 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 thing. I don't know why. Ah yeah, let's say Gifrid. I think Gifrid could help here. You know, Gifrid usually is not too useful against Imperm because he he negates monster, but you know he's another flint. <laughs> So in this case, he could be just that, just another flint. So if we summon this, we see the hand, we normal this, for DDR back this, and we make power tool. Power tool has this cool application application where he could mm, turn himself into two tuners. How? Because Durendal is a car, are we not this a car? So there are some combo lines in the freestyle where you wanna make this. I mean, when you only have one tuner extender, and the other one is going to be a fire warrior on board, you know, and that is not a tuner. So it could be any of these or maybe an ogier on board. So we would go for this, having a card in hand so the opponent doesn't know if we have another tuner extender or not. So we we'll use this, the opponent might let it go because you know what? They don't want to use it and then get uh, sacked by, by one tuner extender. So we will get to Durendal to Renault. We would put, let's say this, or we would already have this, or we would summon Gifrid, and then summon Renault and get a and get an equip. That means that now we do, we no longer have a one tuner extender, but we have two, because remember, power tool is a way to get to turn one tuner into two tuners. This plus whatever it gets, it gets. So at this point, we could indeed uh, beat the imperm we could make floor here and then get the tuner extender clear a space if we no longer need this um, or maybe we could go for omega and threaten this but i don't recommend it <laughs> yeah don't do it if we had flint instead of gear fit uh, we could have done something similar you know like we could get oh yeah, I yeah think is that we need dolphin in situ I mean how should we yeah I think this only works with gear feed because if we have this and the extender I mean if we play Savage yeah we could go for a second insult and this this would be Savage again I don't recommend playing Savage so yeah, right now I only see this working with Gifrid <laughs> to make fuel, but the, but just just remember the concept, okay? Remember that if we access this, this could uh, become two two tuners, and that's all we need to combo to impermanence. Um, the the other concept, and it's pretty much similar, is if they let Halki resolve. So the moment that we know they are on imperm. We didn't have gas to make Herald and we go into Halki. There is a high chance that they let it go because Halki has a second effect. If they interrupt Halki, we can get follow up in the next turn or we can get an interruption through through Riser. Sometimes that that's the best play, you know? Like if we only have like let me show you this. Um uh, if we only have this salt milk tree summon dolphin and we only have this in hand probably our best shot is going to halki uh hope that they let us let it resolve i mean yeah it doesn't matter too much if they let it resolve we make herald 
if they then imprint the herald, we make riser and riser herald into flur. If they imprint this, we make riser and riser dolphin into flur. So it is at least uh, one interruption, no matter how. So yeah, at this point here, we should not go for Aura because Aura would be insta GG, would be pass and nothing. So at least using the tuner that we summon of Hulk to make Herald or to make Charles is going to be more useful. Um, yeah. The, the other concept was if we had something like this, like let's say, like we made power tool and yeah, let's say we had we had Gifrida on, on hand in hand, okay? Let's say we try this theory that I told to, to you about with power tool. Uh sorry, yeah, with power tool. And we didn't get Drendal, we get this or fossil, which means we only have one tuner. But if we have gear free, we can make this that is really cool. We summon the tuner, we go into Halki. At this point, and yeah, it's really unlikely that they stop Halki because we have a machine, which means we could go into into Auro anyway, and they may be afraid of getting us half tokens. Maybe, yeah, we maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but if they, let's say they don't interrupt here, this, uh, this is also a combo because then we can summon Gilfried or revive Gilfried of DDR and make Fleur and then use this as a machine to go for, for Auro. And then Auro is already protected, okay? This is another cool application that we can make. And at this point, uh, we are burning one power tool, but it doesn't matter because the four zone combo only requires one power tool, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, that's also a cool application. I think that's it. Yeah, I don't have any more theories around imperm. Um, sometimes, yeah, because we play triple gear feed, we could access this more of often than not. Uh, so, if we have like, I don't know, like maybe this, if we have like double flint, yeah, I think that's a, a cool example. If we have double flint, um, and we use them to go for assault, at that point, if we we could mill three for dolphin, um, but the scenario where we have to use this as a we we need, we have to put something to that point to them put we not as a tuner extender is not too good for me. So there are some some cases where we just try to full combo, try to go for Halki, you know, blindly without resolving dolphin, Auro, and then we get stopped. Like the best follow-up, if this gets imperm, this is my my point, is these two cards, because this is a solid two boss monsters, two interruptions. This is a solid summon this, summon this, get DDR, make Fleur, DDR summon back Gearfried. So if this gets negated, that is like the biggest choke point, and it's really detrimental for us. I mean, this is like a cool follow-up. This is just a two card combo. That let us still make two engine interruptions, Omni negate and Monster negate. And this is already a good follow-up because if this survives, this can trade with this to get DDR to have more follow-up. So yeah, this is the, I mean, also if this survives, next turn, if we have bodies, we can like tribute, use the effect to tribute to summon cold wind and then still summon summoning tokens on 001. So yeah, this is still a high, a high threat uh, for next turn. Yeah, I think that's all that I needed to show you. This is also a really nice way to play through Imperm, but revolves, um, revolves around playing PKs. So the idea is that if we open Isolde plus Oliver, this is just when you play PKs, okay? When you play one turn scale, one boot, one cloak, and one shade. If you play those, which I don't recommend in, in the build, but if you do, you may as well, you should know this. So you could summon this, summon Torn, Mill Cloak, 
uh, summon this go into Halki and then if they let Halki resolve because you know they wanna stop you on Aurora Dawn if they let Halki resolve oh it's really GG at that point uh, because there is a cool concept uh, involves involves that you learn seven to eight combos <clears throat> but here you could use the PKs to make power tool to get an extender to make the second power tool to make Draco Sack and still uh, spam your board without getting to Halki and without getting to, to Aurora I'm sorry and if they hmm, try to stop you at, at any point you, you are most likely having a machine uh, so you can still make Auro and keep comboing it's really hard because you have a lot of points where they could imperm and that's gonna change <coughs> the, the combo line but it's nice, it's nice when you have those PKs so you can start making power tools uh, just with Halki without this if you wanna learn them in, like, in depth just give me a message and I could show you uh, those combos this is, this is not the video for that because we are not playing PKs in this build that's something that I theorized months ago and it was a cool I didn't actually uh, put it in practice because I did I developed this concept and then like one two weeks later I decided to cut the PKs because I was like anyhow I'd rather make Herald early so that's it that's the combo guide to play through Imperm remember the concepts not the step by step a combo because you need to be able to freestyle making this early or this early or let let them use this at a bad timing yeah that's i think i think that's i think that i need to tell you or even if you get stopped remember halkis has this cool second effect to get to riser to still make floor hmm yeah <clears throat> that's it hope you learn how to beat this bad guy so you are not out of losing to this now and i know that i'm talking to you talking to you about two card combo three card combo four or even five card combo just to beat one card and that seems an optimal but you know what we are just we are not just beating one hand drop we are ftk through this hand drop so it's still nice to be able to auto win no matter what and why do i say that it is going to that you are able to FTK the opponent when you combo through this because you are having hand knowledge of Dolphin so when we have hand knowledge and we know when to interrupt the opponent and what interruptions do we have to set up that's for me when the, the FTK happens <laughs> when we put uh, the opponent on, on you better top deck it because the top deck is the only thing that we are not gonna know the rest, Dolphin is our best spy so and here's the best way to to beat impermanence too because we don't know that they have this in hand we should not blindly make herald that's too risky that's a lot of waste of resources um, and if they don't have imperm trust me it's not worth it. so that's that's everything that i needed to say hope that you can beat uh, this hand drop anytime if you have any comment any question any suggestion put it in the comments and see you in the next video of this series next hand trap that we are gonna kill is Nibiru yeah, goodbye